Welcome to State of Tech. Let's take a look at how to change the default keyboard on your iPhone 10. Now if I open up a text message, we're going to see the keyboard here. So this is what your standard keyboard will look like on the iPhone 10. In the bottom left hand corner we have the button that gets us into our emoji icons. And then in the bottom right hand corner we can actually record our voice and send it as a voice memo through the actual text messages. Now what we can do is come into the App Store and then find any keyboard that we would prefer and then we can download and install it on our iPhone. So I happen to use Gboard which is the actual Google keyboard and what we can do now since the app is installed on my device is come into our settings app. We're going to come down into general. You'll notice at the bottom of the screen there is keyboard and I tap in keyboard and up at the top of the screen is the keyboards section. Tap in there, you're going to notice we have two keyboards that come by default, which is my English United States. That's the language that my iPhone is set to. If you have your iPhone set to another language that's primary, you'll see that one is different. But the other one is emoji, and you should see that one no matter what language you choose as your default language on your iPhone. So now what I'm going to do is tap on Add New Keyboard. You'll see down in about the middle of the screen, I have third-party keyboards. So I currently have two. I'm going to choose Gboard, which is the one that I want to use, and it adds it to the bottom of my keyboards list. So before you begin using your keyboard, what you want to do is actually tap on it. So I'm going to tap on Gboard, and you're going to want to allow full access. This is something that you'll see pop up if you begin using your keyboard without doing so. So you want to come in here and enable it. That way you can have full access to actually type on your device. But keep in mind that this will actually be able to read passwords or anything that you type into your device. So make sure that you're downloading and installing a keyboard from a trusted developer and source. So now that I have that added, if we were to come back into our message, you'll notice in the bottom left hand corner what used to be the kind of smiley face icon is now a globe icon and what that means is that there is more than one language keyboard available. And by that I mean, so we have our default keyboard here with Apple, tap on the globe icon, there's an emoji, that's not really a language keyboard. You'll notice if I tap on ABC now, I get into the actual Gboard that I want to use as my default keyboard. Now the iPhone will do a pretty good job at remembering whatever keyboard you had pulled up last in any conversation or any email or any notes or whatever like that. But if you want to ensure that Gboard is the only keyboard that you're using or whatever third party keyboard you installed, there's also another trick to come back into the keyboard settings, tap edit in the top right hand corner, and then we can move Gboard all the way to the top of the list. This will ensure that Gboard is always the first keyboard that's pulled up whenever you enter into a list of keyboards. Or, to take it one step further, you could also get rid of all of the other keyboards that are in this list and only have Gboard available. So now if I go back into my messages, you're going to notice I have Gboard as the only keyboard and that globe icon in the bottom left hand corner has disappeared. Now I'd only recommend doing this if your third party keyboard gives you access to emojis without having to enter into another section. Gboard happens to do that by this emoji icon in the bottom left hand corner next to the spacebar. I can access all of my system emojis directly from there. And then I can hop back into my keyboard just by tapping ABC. And this is all done with one keyboard. I don't need multiple keyboards to go back and forth between an actual language and then emojis. But if your third party keyboard doesn't offer that and you want to use emojis, make sure that you keep the emoji keyboard option added in the keyboard section of the settings. Otherwise, have fun using your third party keyboards. I happen to like this one. It does make using the iPhone a little bit better because I can swipe and type instead of actually having to type and tap each one of the letters individually to make the words out. So if you found this video useful, be sure and give it a thumbs up. For more videos like this, be sure and subscribe to State of Tech and we'll see you in the next one.